For this question, I would probably say this is probably the most critical question of, of, of all that we received is, what is the efficiency judgment and how does it affect me? How does it impact me? Uh, one, I want to reference a prior in our seminar an example that I used and give it to, to give a more detailed explanation. What an efficiency judgment is, for example, if your property is worth $600,000 and you happen to sell it for $250,000, the, the, the deficiency balance would be $350,000. For example, if you went through foreclosure and did not get it resolved and they sold it on, on the courthouse steps and had a difference of $350,000. Now, in the state of Florida, and it's different in each state across the country, but in Florida, for example, uh, an individual can go to your lender for up to five years after that bank has written that note off as a loss on their books. And they can go in, buy that note, I've seen typically from anywhere from five to ten cents on a dollar. For example, go to Bank of America or any other lender and purchase that from them. Therefore, they own that note. And they can go ahead and file a judgment on that note. Uh, and they can go ahead and look to per collect on that note as if it was their debt. They will send, phone, send letters, phone call, harass you, as if ever, because they have the right to do that. Uh, the bank and the, the person who owns this note now, this deficiency judgment, can reactivate that judgment every within every five years, and they can go up to 20 years to collect on that, including interest. And unfortunately, in this state that we live in, if you do not work with them, they can even look to possibly, possibly garnish your wages if they choose to do so. And the one thing that I want Ross to address is the legal aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, unfortunately, I see so many people that do this or this and they just walk away or run away from the problem not really knowing number one what's a, they don't even know what a deficiency judgment is and they don't know how it impacts them as Chris has just clearly explained but the important thing that we can do from a representation standpoint is give you the leverage that you will need most likely to be able to negotiate with your lender either in the context of a short sale or even maybe a deed in lieu to be able to get that deficiency judgment reduced significantly or possibly waived altogether. So you walk away from the scenario and you think your life is going on and you're picking up the pieces and five years down the road someone knocks on your door and says, hello, I just purchased your deficiency judgment and you owe me $100,000, cough it up. You thought you were long over this situation and it's, in, it's a skeleton in your closet. So that's why representation is important to address this now. Absolutely. You could be looking at this deficiency judgment. You could have lost a home three, five plus years ago. You moved on with your life. Your credit's reestablished. The next thing you know, it all, happens all over again. And a lot of those clients, unfortunately, I've been working with clients who've had their uh, wages garnished and even considering filing bankruptcy in that. So it's an unfortunate, unfortunate situation. And I really want you guys to take away from this presentation, this seminar, to please tell your family and friends about it. Deficiency judgment is probably one of the least uh, publicized uh, aspects of the foreclosure process and settlement process, uh, but the, one of the most important ones, which is, in my opinion, the core reason why I started my business is to help clients defend themselves from deficiency judgments. So to get started, go to our website today at h, the number four, hconsulting.com and pick the package that best suits you and begin to fight back. Don't wait, don't hesitate, the bank certainly won't. And remember, there is hope with Hope for Homeowners Consulting.